Welcome back everyone, my name is Echo and I hope you're having a great day. In today's Pixel Gun video, we are checking out the brand new 21.3 update. So when you open the brand new update for the first time, you will be faced with this. It explains all the details behind the update, free to play changes, improvements, new things introduced, but also two VIP matches and 40 free coins. So this update is currently only available for Android, but it is coming to iOS in the coming days. So we do have a brand new traders van. It is here for seven days. It looks really awesome. Inside of here, we have a couple of different weapons available and also a skin. So the primary, this is the ritual rifle. It is mythical, automatic, ricochet, slows down target, fire rate 98, capacity 30, and mobility 55. The next one is a backup, the Tooth of Fate, mythical, single shots, super punch, area damage, fire rate 92, capacity 10, and mobility 65. And last but not least, we do have a special weapon, Staff of Crystals Will, mythical, electro, thrower, lifesteal, weakening, fire rate 94, capacity 50, and mobility 85. So I will check these in today's video, um, but I will do a more detailed review when this update drops on, on iOS. I really like the skin, I'm not gonna lie. I'm usually not a person for skins, but I'm looking forward to using this. So I don't have any requests in this current clan, but there is a delete all requests options, especially if you're like a top clan, you can just get rid of all the invites all the time. Pretty good feature. The same way it works for when you add a friend and you delete them all at once. So with every season, we do get ourselves a brand new background. It's quite sad that we don't get to keep these and at the end of the season, it just goes away. But I do really like this one. Let's just play the animations because we didn't check these out before. So this is, of course, the Traders Vans weapons, which we will be using today. Kind of like these animations. It is kind of a copy of Brawl Stars, but it's still pretty cool. Special set. So this is an interesting one. We have the Super Portalius. We've already got a Portalius set in Pixel Gun 3D, but now we have a new one. And it says, he returned from the future for a mysterious mineral in the Earth's center. So this comes with three different weapons. Number one is the Extracting Ray Pistol, Portal Rifle, and Super Portalius. So let's go through the details of this one. This is heavy. Looks pretty awesome, I'm not gonna lie. One thing that Pixel Gun do a very good job of is like how the weapons look in the modern day of Pixel Gun 3D. Mythical rockets, area damage, teleportation. Oh, that's gonna be interesting. We've had like ones that open portals. I wonder if this is the same kind of, kind of effect. Fire rate 78, capacity two and mobility 50. Please do not be a weapon that's overpowered and everybody is gonna hate it. Basically, I don't want to be the uh, the charge shot things. Anyway, the next one is extracting ray pistol. This is charge shot, gravitation force, and slows down target. Fire rate 74, capacity 3, and mobility 55. So, this one's capacity 2, and this one's 3. This one is special, and this is capacity 1. So, not a lot of ammo in these weapons. Mythical area damage. Gadget blocker, healing, fire rate 31, capacity 1, and mobility 55. So what is it? Special, backup, and heavy, and a new Portalia skin. I kind of like the fact that they've taken the old one and kind of revived it. So a new lottery. Interesting. The dinosaur lottery. Arr, that's literally all it says. Now, what, what I will mention is that the trader's van has started the special event starts in seven days it will probably start a little bit sooner i think it all depends when ios gets the update and this one says it starts in six days but this has a lot of cool things inside of it and i really like the background so we have bonus saw sword arrow i missed it we're gonna have to check these out the animations are too fast we've got what is this bonus saw Aha. sword this is mythical melee Damage, reflection, slows down target, attack 86, 
and mobility 85. The next one's got to be a sniper, right? Aerosaur rifle, mythical, laser ricochet, piercing shot, fire rate 65, capacity 8, and mobility 50. Looks pretty awesome. This got to be primary, maybe? No, it's heavy. Another heavy. Heavy spikosaur. The heavy's in the title. Mythical, looping shot, area damage, bleeding, fire rate 75, capacity 7, and mobility 55. And a skin. A decorative triceratops. We have a raptor. So that's going to be inside the lottery. So welcome to the brand new Battle Pass season. It says it's starting in four days. It will likely start a little bit earlier. Mining season. Find out what causes the signals threatening the planet itself. Let's play the animation. How many weapons do we have? There's one. There's two. That's got to be a sniper. There's three. There's four. There's five. Five weapons this season. Let's start from left to right. So this one is the Rock Smelter. It's legendary. So it's either going to be the last weapon is free to play halfway through the season or the first weapon you unlock. It looks that looks really awesome. I'm not going to lie. That looks cool. Legendary, Flamethrower, Burning, Barrier, Fire Rate 89, Capacity 60, and Mobility 55. We have Skin. We have Tunnel, Riveter, or Riveter, Riveter. Anyway, legendary, rockets, piercing shot, critical damage, backup, fire rate 86, capacity 10, and mobility 75. We have, there's gotta be a sniper, right? Yeah, I knew it. Pixel are gonna love this kind of sniper. It looks like a weapon that's already been in, in the game. So the particle accelerator, looks very similar to that. Drilling, railgun, sniper mythical rockets, wall breaking, kill targets, explode. I'm a sucker for a wall breaking weapon because I love to use x-ray goggles. So I'm hoping I'm gonna enjoy this. Fire rate 46 and capacity 1. It's going to be powerful. And mobility 50. We then have a bunch of skins. That looks pretty cool. The Professor Stone. I like that one. I do like that one. And then we have this one, which is Complete Grinder. Melee, Legendary. Chainsaw Bleeding. Enemy Detector. Attack 97. Mobility 85. We've got whatever this is. Decorative item. What's this one? Plasmatic Digger, Primary Mythical, Minigun, Burning, Ammo Restore, Fire Rate 100, Capacity 50 and Mobility 50. That thing looks insane, dude. Again, like I said, credit where credit is due. Pixel Gun do a really good job on, on weapon designs. So, yeah. Gonna like this season. Let's go through the full set effects. The Dinosaur Set, Great Health and Armor Regen, Poison, Bleeding and Burning Effects, Resistance. The Super Portalia set, slow effects, resistance, restores ammo periodically. So I believe the last Portalia set literally doesn't nerf firing through walls. So a big difference there. And last but not least, the Chosen 1 set, which we do have in today's video. Full set effect, slows down enemies in a large radius around you and armor regen. I am not going to lie. I really like, I really like the skin that we are going to be in today's video. I know you can't really see it very well behind me, but it looks so cool. So something pretty cool has been added for level 65 players. As you guys know, when you get to level 65, there really isn't too much going on. So one of the changes, you can see it here, the top of the first paragraph, it says veterans chest, get cool rewards at level 65. So this was posted on the Pixel Gun Discord page the other day at everyone. Starting for the new version 21.3, all 65 level players will continue getting XP and receive veteran chest for each round. For every 1,500 XP, you'll be rewarded with a lottery winner chest. Keep up with our updates. And then as you guys can see here, it says even if you're max level 65, you gain XP, you open chests, you get prizes, and it's constantly recycled. That is a good change. I know Pixel Gun gets a lot of hate, but things like that are super important in keeping level 65 players who are really important to this game keep playing this game. There is a brand new map. It's called Lost World. It's available in Teamfight. I don't see it in Deathmatch. Don't see it in Capture. Not in minigames, not in raids, not in Team Strike, not in duels, not in there. Disappointed. I like it when they make a map and bounce it around a couple of different game modes. More details, free to play. Gliders can now be activated in flight. Also available in battle royale mode. 
improved the map and added more interactive objects. Added spawn points, choice menu upon death screen, and then at the bottom it says improvements, added reject all requests button for the clan menu, improved enemies and damage indication in battle, matchmaking improvements. They say matchmaking improvements, but it doesn't really outline what that means. I would love to know a little bit more in regards to the matchmaking improvements. Before we go through any of the free to play stuff, let's check out this brand new map. So this is the main menu screen for the Lost World map. Let's go to random. Let's check this bad boy out. Also, we can actually check out these weapons. They do have a delay. You can see the slight delay with these weapons as well. Is that, is that not a delay though? It's kind of like a delay. Not as much. So let's try this. This is full auto. With a lot of bullets. Oh wait, did, does this come with ricochet? Wait, did, did they, does that ricochet off that? Wait. Oh wow. Oh, the crystals ricochet. Oh dude, that's really cool. I like that effect. I'm not gonna lie. I do like that. What if you could kill yourself with it? No. Is the same for all of them? No, so it seems like any kind of bullet projectile will ricochet off these. That's super cool. Um, this thing, eh, it's kind of like a little bit of a plasma rocket. And then this thing, it, ooh, look at that. Check that bad boy out. Pretty cool. Okay, let's focus on the map a little bit more. Because, again, Pixagon have done pretty well with maps as of recent. Um... Yo, look at the dinosaurs, bro. We got dinosaurs. What up? We're like in an ancient world. I mean, I don't know why the dinosaurs... Oh, they're... Oh, I just realized they're trees. And they're above the tree tops. Okay, I get that. Wait, can we go? Can we go? Can we do it? Take me up. Let's go. Not bad. A lot going on in this map. A lot going on. Is there any way? I wish you could pull up like a mini map. Just to have a look at how big this map is. Is there any way at all? I don't think there is, right? I need to be able to see the map. Maybe there is. I can't remember. We've got like a drill. That looks pretty cool. So it's kind of a combination of like the prehistoric update. Plus like an earth update. A minerals update. What happens if we just like fire a bolt off this one? Yeah, so any, any kind of crystal... I mean, maybe not any crystal? Unless it's just this weapon. I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know. <laughs> I really can't remember. Uh, but on a bad map, I can see a lot of gunfights being here. I do like the uh, the dinosaurs. A little bit of armor on here. Go through the tunnel. No secrets. There, there's probably a couple of hidden secrets in these maps. Nope, nothing there. Well, wait, can you go up there? Can we can we get up there? I feel like we might be able to get up there. I don't know. I'm not sure if that's like gold or something, but yeah, not a bad map. Uh, I'd be looking forward to playing some some games on this. So I don't really play free to play, but like I'm going to try and check it out. Apparently it's incredibly popular in Pixel Gun 3D. So upon death, you can choose your respawn point. So we're going to choose here. But uh, something, something that's been outlined is that you can activate your glider. Now, I wonder if that means, like, you know, if you're jumping off a building in Battle Royale, you can reactivate your glider so you don't take damage kind of thing. But apparently, it's also in here as well. Dude, just trying to kill me. I was trying to make friends with him. So I just want to see what happens when I do kill myself. Unless this doesn't kill me. It does kill me. So, it doesn't let necessarily let me pick my respawn point. But I don't play this game mode anyway. So, if you do, there's a couple of changes to it. So, again, I'm not 100% sure what this change is for the Battle Royale. You can activate your glider again or something. I'm going to try and jump off a high place and see if that's what it means. If not, I have no idea. I can confirm I'm not dead. And it's a really good feature. Once you jump, your glider comes out and you can just fly all the way down. That is such a good feature and something I wanted for so long. Thank you, Pixel Gun 3D, for adding this. So any tall building in Pixel Gun 3D or tall mountain, mountain, you can jump off it freely and try and escape. It's going to be interesting for gunfights. Well done. So overall, there's not a lot in this update, but it's still a pretty good update. I'll be excited to check out these weapons in a little bit more detail on my main account for those who are interested in it. 
Traders Van is here for a little bit, a little bit of time, so I'll get it done as soon as possible. Have a great day. Enjoy the celebrations of the 8th anniversary of Pixel Gun 3D. And I'll catch you next time. Goodbye.